It's time to stabilize our original terrazzo floor. Who wants to live the fancy glamorous Chatelaine life? Today is scrubbing the bathroom floors with a pH neutral balance that is specially designed to clean terrazzo but kind of needs to be applied by hand and scrubbed in. So there's my glamorous look today, everyone. Chatelaine fancy. This next bit of working on the floor consists of uh, lying on the floor and taping off the cracks. This is by far the longest part of the process, the actual applying of the epoxy resin, which is the right kind for marble, don't get crazy, um, is actually really pretty quick. But this whole peeling out the cracks business takes a little bit longer. All right, just uh, a few more feet to go. How are we surviving, Brian? Just hanging on by a tack. <laughs> it's not the most comfortable work in the world, lying on the floor, taping off and cutting out, because everything has been very exact. So, yeah. And it's, this part takes forever and then you have just no time at all to get the epoxy down once it's ready to go. So we spend hours doing this and then have to apply the epoxy and rip it up in just a matter of like minutes. So the trick here is to work quite quickly because you have about three minutes before it sets up. Yeah. So. And the, this uh, particular channel is pretty shallow, so it's not eating it up fast enough. Also, try not to get it outside the lines. This morning's task is to apply the sealant. And since, you know, I don't have big tools, I'm basically applying it with that little sponge. Yes, I should get big tools, but hey, um, hopefully this isn't a job I do very often. So you can see it's a little bit shinier where I've applied it and you can kind of see the line, I think, between where it starts and where it ends. So hopefully with that and then a little gloss on top and we'll get a pretty good shine off this baby. So almost there. Well, this just happened. So we're in the middle of doing the floor as I think we were talking about and uh, we got our delivery from MAUS, which is a canopy set and two chairs. Um, which need a bit of work. The, they put them down in the back feet immediately flung off, so that was fun. But what we didn't realize when we bought it is that it's actually a uh, fold-out bed. <laughs> so we thought it was just a sofa and two chairs, but it's actually a bed as well. So we'll get that touched up and... Uh, Find a mattress for it. Yeah, but it's nice big fluffy feather cushions, which I'm quite pleased about. Yeah, they're heavy down... Yeah, so we'll give those a wash, and the chairs look to be a pretty good nick. With and, nice, and again, cushy, cushy, cushy. Do we, do we dare tell the price? I don't know. Do we dare tell the price? I mean, honestly, for all three pieces, it was 70 euros. Yeah, That's so we kind of couldn't resist. Yeah, and it's nice. I, I think the fabric's really lovely. A little bit of cleaning, there's some 
cleaning, particularly on the back. But yeah. um, once we do that, I think it's going to be an absolutely lovely set. Yeah. Great for one of the rooms. Well, we'll see how that washes up. Yeah, some people will be wondering why I don't just get a new one and really because I don't know where to source a new one and I don't feel like this one's actually done yet. Like why throw it out if it's not done? Maybe it just needed a good wash. We'll give that a try. And if it dissolves, that's fine. Then I'll get a new one. But if it doesn't, then, you know, we've sort of saved a little bit of garbage, which is great. Okay, here it is, big day. This wall, you saw we took down from the other side and we opened up. Well, today the wall is coming down. Um, we have great friends of ours uh, who fortunately have a trailer and are gonna come by in a couple hours so that we can get rid of all the junk that, uh, that we took out of the wall. Um, but this time we're gonna actually open it up and we're finally going to see this room as one for the first time since we moved into the house. Very, very exciting. Here we go. First cut through, look yep. at that. All right, well, here it goes. It's gonna come down. This is very exciting. They're taking down the wall. <laughs> Woo! Oh, Hi! I can actually see you through the wall. <laughs> this is so exciting. Yay! So, first major chunk out. <laughs> one, two rooms suddenly become one. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Woo! And there's dust. <laughs> lots and lots of dust. Yep. But. Thank you to everybody who uh, commented. We are going to keep the uh, the frame. We're, yep. That's why we're going to cut the pieces out like that. Um, we'll get the uh, rest of the drywall off of the frame. And you're right. We can certainly use this again, uh, probably in the barn or yeah. build a separation wall. So thank yep. you for that. We will definitely utilize the seal. Awesome. Here we go. Keep going. Keep going. You're on a roll.
floor. The floor. Oh, it's falling. may never recover, but the walls are down. The floors will be fine. The wall is down. The wall is down. Wow, look at that. That's a, that's a nice room. I love it like this. Yeah, this is awesome. I love it. What do you think, love? I'm in love with it, too. Oh, I can't wait to decorate this all up. Oh, it's going to be so good. So it's down. We now have one large salon instead of the two smaller ones that weren't that small, admittedly. But this is fantastic. Uh, the arch is intact, fortunately, and everything came out relatively clean. So now we can start working on cleaning first and then, of course, decorating to bring these two rooms together. What a great start. This is such a nice project to get going on. Out in the barn where Ryan and Dee did their cleanup, there was a manky old table. Well, it turns out that Brian's got some mad woodworking skills. Steve had repaired the table and then Brian got going with a sander and a few other things. And he's done a beautiful job turning this manky old table into something we are really excited to sit around in an evening. Plus, there was an old umbrella out there with some pretty bad staining. And I took the bleach to that and let's see where we are. So this is the result of the uh, the table after a great sanding by Brian. Thank you so much for that. It's look it's so smooth now. I mean it's uh, it seemed to be just abandoned in the in the barn and wow it's ever going to come back to life now. So we're getting some stain on there. Oh wow that's going to look great. Well I'm glad I gave it a further sand because it's quite transparent. So yeah, you're right. It's not as thick as I was expecting it to be either. That'd be nice though, because it should match the teak chairs yep. that we picked up as well quite nicely. So we'll have a whole matching set. So they actually say on the can, if you want the ultimate, yeah. it's three times. Oh, really? So. <laughs> I don't know whether we want ultimate or not, but <laughs> it's, you know, it's for severe weather conditions, which I think you can safely say this is. Well, let's face it. With the way the world's going, everything is severe. It's going to face severe weather. <laughs> Looks amazing, though. I mean, the color is deepening a little bit. Yeah, it's it just is. just absolutely stunning. Yeah. I think it's improving. Yeah. Which is... And you've sanded all the legs down and gotten no, ready? No, no, I've not yet. Only given them a first sand. So oh, I okay. decided to finish this and then I'll have to put something on the other side to uh, prop it on so that it doesn't get scratched. Yep. And go at it. And I think we got some uh, sawhorses out in, the gr out in the barn somewhere or something like that. So yep. Put a cloth over it. Awesome. Looks fantastic. Thanks so much. Well, thank you. Wow, look at the shine on this table now. It is brand spanking new. Absolutely gorgeous. Stunning. We're going with some classics here. I've got the, uh, the bright white plates and then I've done a fancy fold on the napkins. And we've got our cutlery that we got at Vertiac a couple of months ago that I've polished up. So we'll tuck that in there if I can, somehow delicately. 
And then we've got the forks, which are very French. Uh, it's, a, it's a classic French pattern, but that means that they've got extra decoration on the back because that's a very French thing to do. So we'll put that one in à la Française and uh, put that in upside down and line that up in the plate. And I've also got the little knife rests that were a gift from Clem. So if we don't want to get the curry all over the table, we'll have somewhere to put the knives just in case. And let's see how that looks when we're done. I think that's a pretty good start, but I definitely think we need a bit more. I've gone with more color because it's still spring and how delightful is that? So I've got the hand painted plates that Steve brought back from Italy a few years ago. Nina is a florist also among her many skills. So she's been putting together these lovely arrangements for us, magicked up from our garden. And then we've got the pitcher that goes with the, the Italian plates. We've got some lovely glassware. I think we're just about ready for a lovely spring dinner outside. What do you guys think? Wanna join us? Sarah and I are really excited to offer our first two workshops at the Chateau de Saint-Germain-des-Prés. Um, we have got two wonderful workshops going for July and August. In July, we have a, a fantastic author from Canada named Sandra Benz coming, and she's going to run two one-week workshops um, with a group up to eight to ten people um, for creative writing. Should be a very exciting week. You get to stay at the chateau, uh, tour the local areas, enjoy some wonderful food and some wonderful wine, and and get a wonderful experience whilst learning how to write um, and to express yourself. In August, then we have our very good friend Elska de Groot, who is a encaustic painter, an artist, and photographer, and she's coming to do again two one week sessions um, with those who want to learn a new skill, a new art skill. Again, staying at the Chateau and enjoying all the wonderful things that France has to offer, um, but also enjoying uh, some time together to learn how to create something exciting and creative. So we really hope that you guys are willing to come and, and join us here in Chateau de Saint-Germain-de-Prés. For more information, by all means, check out our website at mannerandmaker.com. Uh, and you'll find all of the information there. We look forward to seeing you guys hopefully in July and August.